Level 9. As you turn right, you see your neighbor. You have chatted a bit before in the street, and they always ask how you are doing. They notice that you look upset and ask if you want to come in for a cup of tea. After chatting for a while, they ask if you are okay and you begin to explain the week that you have just had. I just want to talk about what I've seen in people's life, what I have, you know, come across in the streets of England, which might not be in their books of data and statistics and, you know, research. Almost every migrant, asylum seeker or refugee have one sort of mental breakdown or the other and they never recover from it. And that has been caused by the delay in the application that has been caused by the pain that they have been made to go through to wait for their documents to be either granted or refused. I know how much I miss home, even though I've been here for a very long time, but I still have never seen this place as home. And that's because of how the system has made the migrant to feel, the asylum seeker, the refugee. Sitting home, depressed and sick, and ill. doctors, they don't know what's wrong with me. They say, you fine, but they don't know what's wrong with me. They just give me sleeping pills. I didn't live, I wasn't living. I was like, I don't like, I don't go out. I don't have friends. I have nothing, nothing. I have nothing in life. Um, but I just wanted to kill myself. I just want to die. You mention your appointment tomorrow and that you have no way to get there. You are worried what will happen if you miss it. If the power it is in someone else's hand, not yours. So you can't make any decisions or make any plans. <laughs> They leave the room to make some phone calls. I had a bit of trouble trying to get to an appointment tomorrow or in Cardiff. And, and return with the details of a good friend who is driving to Cardiff tomorrow for work. Oh, you are? What, what time is that? You are unsure whether to accept as you really don't want to inconvenience other people and you don't know how you will be able to return the favor. But you feel like you can trust your neighbor and this is your only option. My country is gone. It's it's gone, you know. It's 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 it disappeared. It's 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 not the place I call home anymore. You come here. It's like you try to feel home. <laughs> Too sad, but it is true. But is what's nice is I don't know especially with the Swansea people are kind. Uh, they don't see you as a as a stranger. Um, I've been in England. Uh, I felt a stranger. But Swansea, like uh, I felt home somehow. I didn't feel a stranger. I didn't feel alone. Uh, when they give you the smile, it's like they know you for years. And so this is, I learned, I learned a lot from Swansea people. They are kind and loving. 
you say thank you and arrange to meet their friend tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. You walk back home, feeling a mixture of exhaustion and relief. At least one problem has been solved today. You wonder what tomorrow will bring. It's, it's not easy to make a home. Uh, but we have a home in ourselves. We, we, can, we can make something rec be recognized with kindness, with believing, with coming together. Not only bad wins in this life, but the good can win. So I, I, I think we're going to be the winners in the end. Now, go and listen to Level 10.